In QTimer, we have this presenter window, which lives on top of the presenter screen. And you can start, stop and change timers while navigating your slides. It's a, a good feature, but one thing you notice is that when you go out of the presentation, you still see this window. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can automate this window to be turned on when you go into the presentation and then automatically go off when you go out of the presentation so that you can edit your slides and don't be annoyed by this window. And to do that, we're going to use QTimer, which you're already seeing, and then Auto Presentation Switcher, which can control PowerPoint. And then we have Companion, which is the magic that binds these two software together. So uh, what is a trigger? You can see here we have conditions and actions. Uh, what I'm going to do is to say that when we go into a presentation, we are going to turn on this window. And when they go out of the presentation, we are going to turn off this window. So the easiest way to approach this is to first find the action that we want to do and then the condition. So in our case, what is the action? That is to turn on the presenter window. And we have a command for this in Companion. So presenter window turn on. So let me check it. Okay, this is uh, the action. And then we have the condition, when are we going to apply this action? And that is when we start a presentation. So what we then need to look for is that we have a feedback which is sent from APS to Companion that will trigger when a presentation is playing. And in the newest version of uh, Companion, we have this right here presentation displayed. If any presentation is displayed, change the style. Okay. And I forgot the event is uh, when the condition becomes true. So when this condition becomes true, that the presentation is displayed, then QTimer will turn on the presenter window. So now we're just going to rename this trigger. We, we presenter on. Okay, and we need to activate the trigger. This is very easy to forget. Enable the trigger. So now let's see what happens when we start the presentation. Then we get this timer immediately. Well, that's great. Then we will always make sure that the timer is on when we are start a presentation. But still, when you go out of the presentation, it's still there. To turn this off the same way, then we can almost invert this trigger. And I'm going to do it here by duplicating it. And uh, first we can call it presenter off. So if this condition is that presenter is displayed, when we invert it, we say that the condition is that the presentation is no longer displayed. So at the moment we turn the presentation off, this this is the condition. This is when we are going to apply the new trigger. And the action is that the presenter window, instead of on, it goes off. So now I'm just going to test the action. Okay, it works. And then we start the presentation. And well, the window is on. We can now get our slide. And we go out of the presentation and it's off. We can edit. So this is how we can make sure that the presenter window is only on when you need it. That is when the presentation is displayed and then you turn it off when you go out to edit the presentation. And we do this with Companion, QTimer and APS. I hope this is useful. Take care and see you again soon.